So we're all familiar with the Hess's Law um, formulae we can use to calculate enthalpy changes. So when you've got enthalpy changes of combustion, you can do the sum of the enthalpy change of combustion of the reactants minus the products. And if you've got enthalpy changes of formation, it's the other way around, products minus reactants. Now, the problem is, as I see as a teacher, is when you've got a question like this, students start getting confused because you can see that the question saying, use enthalpy change of combustion to calculate an enthalpy change of formation. So you've actually got both terms in the question. And I think what happens is a lot of students just fixate on the word formation and use the formation sort of formula, product minus reactants. And the answer, basically they get the wrong sign in their answer. And they will say to me, but it said formation. But what I always stress is it's all about the data that you've got. So it's all about, in this case, it would be all about the combustion. So it would be this way around. Now, I'm a big fan of enthalpy cycles. I would always recommend that you draw one so that you don't get it the wrong way around. So I'm just going to very quickly, for the purpose of the video, just show you how a cycle for something like this will make you make sure you always get the question right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these enthalpy changes of combustion to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction, which is the formation of butane. So what we do is we draw what I call a combustion cycle. So I just have a little box at the bottom there. And what I'm going to put in there are the combustion products of everything in the equation that we want to know the enthalpy change for. So if you combust four moles of carbon, you're going to make four moles of carbon dioxide gas. And if you combust five moles of hydrogen, you get five moles of water. And if you combust one mole of butane, you get four moles of CO2 and five moles of water. Okay, so because we've got these combustion values here, we can construct a cycle. So the arrow for that would be down there, combustion of four moles of carbon to give four moles of carbon dioxide. Five moles of hydrogen gives five moles of water. And one mole of butane gives four moles of CO2 and five moles of water. Okay, so... Values wise, that's going to be four times minus three nine four because obviously that value there is per mole. We've got four moles. This is going to be five times minus two eight six, five times minus two eight six, and this is going to be just one times that minus two eight double seven. So I've worked them out and there's the um, value for 4 times minus 394, so it's minus 1576 and that's minus 1430. Obviously that's just multiplied by 1 anyway. So we've got two routes essentially to go from here to here. You can go the, the direct route, so with that enthalpy change, or you can go this green way here. Now if you look at the direction of the arrows, you can see that these two arrows here, these combustion of the reactants, they're going in the right direction for that green route. The problem is this arrow is pointing in the wrong direction. So all we do is we flip it round and basically subtract it. So it's those minus that one. So when you put the numbers in, you get the unknown enthalpy change is the sum of the enthalpy changes of combustion of the reactants. So those numbers there minus, remember that arrow is going in the wrong direction, so we flip it around, so we change the sign of that essentially, minus, minus 2877, that's the sum of the enthalpy change of combustion of the products. So you can see there's the formula there, using delta H C, it's reactants minus products, but it's definitely, as a teacher, I set questions like this all the time as homework questions and things like that, and there's always confusion when you get the two words in the same question, combustion and formation. So my advice is to always draw the cycle.